welcome guys it's so wonderful to see each one of you here listen closely to today's message about how God's Word is a light and a lamp unto our feet may that bless you today hello C can anybody hear me I can't see where I'm going I don't know where I am it's so dark I keep hearing things but I can't quite make out what it is I don't even know where they're coming from or who I should be listening to there's no point in trying it just stay put you won't get anywhere in any way what what did you say is that really true maybe it is I'm frozen in fear anyway better just stay put it's up to you. No one's rich enough to help you. Get yourself out of this mess. And if you can't, too bad. Nothing more to it. But I just heard that I shouldn't do anything. What should I do? Am I really alone? No one cares? I'm not sure that I know what to do. Well, just get comfortable in the darkness. It's not so bad. Your eyes will adjust eventually. You'll become accustomed to this way of living. Just forget about the light. It's too bright anyway. But I don't think I want to. I want to see. I want to go somewhere. I want to know. I want more than this. I don't want to be trapped in darkness and fear. Your word? is a lamp for my feet and a light to guide my path. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light to guide my path. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light to guide my path. Let's read the following scriptures together. The Psalm 119 verse 105. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. 1 Timothy 4 verse 13 Stay at your post, reading scripture, giving counsel, teaching. Have you ever tried to walk around in your house after dark, in the middle of load shedding, with no lights or candles? You kind of feel unsure of your movements and what to expect. Sometimes you would bump your toe into something or your knee and you're scared that you would bump something at any second. In the darkness, you even start imagining things. Sometimes in moments like these, I've often felt anxious or at least a little bit nervous. And today we are talking about a very wonderful and important book the number one best seller in the world. Can you guess what book we are talking about? I, I bet you don't know. The book we're talking about is God's Word, the Bible. It shows us a way of living. It says in the Word of God that God is like a light in the dark. The Word of God gives us light for our next steps in life or the situations that we find ourselves in so that we don't have to walk around in the dark and we don't have to feel uncertain. It gives light to our path, a lamp for what is next so that we can see our next steps. It helps us in every decision we need to make, in how we choose friends and in how we approach everyday living. That sounds important, right? We might not be able to see far into the future, but reading God's Word we see enough to feel safe to take the next step with Him. We receive wisdom to make difficult choices. We receive peace to accept some things that's really difficult in life. We even get some tips on how to be a good person, even when other people aren't. And the way to get to know the most loving and capable parent ever. A parent that won't disappoint and that parent's name is God God our Father 
Do you know that it is important to read the Bible together as well? Paul, Paul writes to Timothy, a young man that he worked with, Timothy worked with Paul, and he motiv motivates him to read God's word alone and to ask God questions and to talk to God about what he's reading. Read the Bible and then talk about it. Hmm. That sounds like something you can do, right? Even in the Old Testament, the scriptures was read aloud in the temple. The temple is like the church we have today. So that people could hear it together. Can you imagine what happened afterwards? People discussed it, just like we discuss it here at MKITS. People asked questions, just like we do here at MKITS. And people shared what they felt about it, just like we do here at MKITS. What happens today when we come together and listen to this scripture and we receive this scripture into our lives? We interpret it together. That means we try and make sense of what God's word is telling us about our lives as a group of young people. We tell each other about it and we tell each other about the power of God's word as we share how we felt when we heard this word in the Bible. We learn and get to understand the Bible together. We are reminded of God's promises together. And these truths, the truths that we find in the Bible, form us, they shape us as friends together. We can be sure of the truth, not because only one person knows and understands the Bible, but because we trust that through the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit reveals to us the truths that's in the Bible. The truths about a wonderful God that loves us and His plans for us and His plans for the world we live in. We trust that in hearing and teaching and discussing the Bible, that we can know, get to know God and see where He's working in our lives. We don't have to walk around in the dark. We can begin to see that even in a group of people, like we are today, he speaks to each and every person uniquely through His Word. And how special is that? God speaks to you. So take your guiding light, God's Word, with you. You don't have to physically carry the Bible around everywhere you go, but memorize some of it so that you would always be reminded of what is in God's Word. And if you do, you will know that you don't have to face anything alone not even the difficult things. Don't stay in the dark or let your uncertainty make you feel alone. Don't stress if you don't have all the answers. God is speaking through His Word and you and me can listen. This is one of the ways we hear what God is saying. Listen to Him when you are alone and listen to Him when you are with others at church or even when you get, gather around in a small group at home you can listen you never know what he's going to show you when you sit in a conversation with a christian friend who is also part of god's family my 
my true friend Talking with you, Jesus Makes sense of everything I want to sing, sing, sing I want to jump, jump, jump I want to shout it out Shout it out I want to laugh, laugh, laugh I want to dance, dance Life with you is what it's all about I want to sing, sing, sing I want to jump, jump, jump I want to shout it out Shout it out I want to laugh, laugh, laugh I want to dance, dance, dance Life with you is what it's all about What it's all about Let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus, that you are the light on our path, that your word guides us. And thank you that your word helps us to see how we can live. Thank you, Jesus, that we never ever have to be alone, that you are always with us. Remind us about this every day of this week and as we read your word. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye, guys.